First day back in the office after Malta. It is Monday, what date is today? I think the 6th of November. We sold the RMO7. We sold the Rolex Eye of the Tiger, reference number 116588TPR. Uh, and uh, we sold the Oysterflex Daytona. People call this the Pikachu. I find it a horrendous name. We sold all these three, and it is currently the first day back from Malta. It's Monday, the 6th of November. I do really like, I'm gonna keep this one. I haven't sold this one yet because I'm not, I am undecided. I, I don't wanna sell it yet. So I'm gonna keep this one with me. Have a look. This is gonna go in the box with other watches. Some of them are cool, some of them are horrendous. So there's some cool stuff in here, look at that. So that one is gonna go there. Here's some stuff here, no? Oh, some APs, including a million subscriber AP. Some other cool stuff. Bamford, Snoopy, all good. That is a very good start of the week. I am very happy with that. So we sold these three. Um, I think Graham is an end consumer for this, and uh, these two are gonna go to a dealer. So I'm, I'm quite happy with that, to be honest. Um, and let me put this here. It's good to be back though, it's good to be back. Um, but I'll be traveling tomorrow again. It's a bit tricky because uh, my missus is due in three weeks, right? We She was at the doctor, <clears throat> doctor there Friday and um, the baby wasn't growing as fast as it should be. So that means that it could potentially, she could be potentially induced this week or next week. So I have two more things to do, two more travels to go on, uh, which is Liverpool. Um, I'm doing, I'm, I'm meeting some people from YouTube in Liverpool at Anfield. It's a big event, um, which I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite excited about. And then on Thursday, I'm off to Geneva for the GPHG Awards, uh, which is the first time I've ever been invited. So I don't really want to miss that, to be completely honest. Um, but of course, my child goes first, my missus goes first. So let's hope we can, uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's genuinely hope that she doesn't give birth when I'm away because then I'm fucked. I don't wanna miss, of course, the birth of my own child. Now, the weekend we had our baby shower and next weekend um, it's Junior's birthday because my firstborn was born on the 9th of November, 2022. So, yeah, can you imagine having two kids at the same birthday year apart? That would be insane. Uh, it's still possible though, it's still possible. By the way, these are the Rolex boxes and let me grab this and show you this, it's interesting. Rare off, uh, rare off catalog pieces or platinum pieces you have a big box, right? You have a really big box. Then you have um, gold pieces and two-tone pieces have a middle box. And I usually steal pieces of a small box. It's cool. Uh, same type of thing, same papers, everything is the same, really. Uh, what does it say here? Uh, some note, don't know what that is. Um, but this is, uh, this is now all being packed up. Let me show you. Done. And that's gonna be shipped today. I'm, uh, Oh look, I nearly forgot that. Papers of the Richard Mill. So these need to be shipped today. Very good, good start of the week. Right, next up is the new Gautier gear. I appreciate all the lovely messages on the videos and um, your feedback is very, very important. Um, and I think we're gonna do the front because a lot of people, a few people actually mentioned that, oh, let me put this here, that the, Branding on the front was too big. It should be smaller. That's what we're gonna do. Um, I think this one is smaller. These are all prototypes, by the way. We're testing things out. I do like that smaller one like that. And the back, the back is class. I love that back. So that is quite good. I'm not sure what this is. Is this the same? Or oh, this is what a bigger front. Everything we have is being finished in Ireland, right? So there's a cool store. It's actually being finished in Derry, Londonderry. Uh, 
Let me see what this is. They're all, look at that back. I thoroughly enjoy that. Right, I'm happy with that. I think that's the hoodie, same story. Love it. Uh, gonna wear them for a couple of weeks and figure out what I like, what I don't like. And I would love to have your feedback because I want you guys to decide what is good and what you do not want. That's the most important. First off, I have a good friend of mine coming who's looking to buy two hogs. Oh, and I need to figure that out with sales. If we have two hogs. Gavin speaking. Gavin, um, quick one. How many hogs do we have? I can't hear what you're saying. How many hogs do we have? Uh, I don't think we have any. Right. Um, I need two hulks. Let me figure that out. I'll call J uh, Jonathan. Yeah, he has two. I can buy them easily enough. Right. I'll chase that up. Thank you. Cheers, lad. So, we don't have any hulks in stock, which is, first of all, not good because we should have them in stock. But let me call a friend of mine. I don't really want to commit to them because... Uh, yo! Yo. I hope you're well. Yeah, good, thanks. You all right? Yeah, I'm doing well. Where are you? Uh, my office, Birmingham. Good. Um, I need two hulks, but I don't want to commit buying them because the client is coming on Friday, um, but he's most likely to take both of them. Right. I have two hulks. Can you help me? Um, with, with no guarantee. Yeah, I mean, if they don't if they don't sell on Friday, then you get them back. Yeah. Uh, what year do, you, do they need to be? Did what? Relatively new. I've got here. I've got 2016, 2017, 2018. Right. 2018 needs a glass. So. All right. Um, which are 16 and 17 uh, retail ready? No, they need a polish. I oh, didn't need a polish anyway. Yeah. Right. See what you can do if you can help me out because it's most he's eighty five percent sure he's gonna buy. Okay. I mean He's flying over from fucking Dubai, by the way. Oh, is he? Yeah. And it have to be like retail ready mint. Nah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, like they can't have any marks. Rather not, no. Okay, let me see what I can do. Yeah, see what you can do. I, I'll probably be able to, maybe I can polish and send them over. I'll, let me just check. Yeah, I appreciate your help, mate. Any other crack uh, with you? Not really, just same old sh you know, just, uh, obviously Marcus, Marcus, not great, but it, it never is at this time of year, so. No. People always think that the market uh, towards the end of the year, Christmas time, is fantastic for watch trade. That's a load of bollocks. <laughs> It's, it never is. It, it, it's only good for like two weeks in December, but like October, November is always shit. No, exactly. But we have had a strong start of the month, to be fair. That's good. And last month was all right. Month before we're strong. Yeah, same, basically. All right. Last month was okay, but... Yeah, yeah. Just fucking just got to get through it. <laughs> get through it. Make it happen. You hear you. <laughs> Right. That's the plan. That's the plan. Right. Um, let me uh, uh, keep me posted. I need them okay. Friday, so we have till really Wednesday, Thursday to figure it out. Okay, all right. I'll see what I can do for you. Cheers, lad. Thank you. Right. Bye. 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 Because we are in Northern Ireland, there's a lot of rules where uh, where we can sell a watch to. And, like, I mean, it's a bit confusing, right? Ever since... Brexit happened, Northern Ireland is economically half in and half out of Europe. But this has got to do with the full island of Ireland, right? Um, so we're quite restricted. When we buy a watch in Great Britain, right, we cannot sell it in Northern Ireland. Yeah, we can sell it in Northern Ireland, but it needs to have, uh, we need to add 20% to that. When we buy a watch from Great Britain and sell it to the rest of the world, which is in this case um, Dubai, and someone is collecting them from Dubai, then we're allowed to sell it, and then uh, no VAT applies. 
If we buy a watch in the EU, we can sell it in the EU, we can sell it in Great Britain, we can sell it in the rest of the world, and we can sell it in Northern Ireland. But when we buy a watch in the rest of the world, we cannot sell it in, in, in Great Britain, we cannot sell it in EU, we can sell it back to the rest of the world, but we can't sell it in, in Northern Ireland. So it's a bit of a confusing thing. So this is really important. This is regarding a VAT on margin. It's really important to hold up to that and to, uh, and to really be uh, on the ball with this because um, Brexit and this whole VAT margin scheme is, is new, but you don't want to make any mistakes with that. So if I buy a watching in, the, in GB, um, in Great Britain, I'm okay to sell it to the rest of the world. And this is a client that's coming in from Dubai. So that's, an, uh, that's, a, that's a good thing. So I can actually buy it in the EU as well. So I can buy it in Northern Ireland, I can buy it in the EU, and I can buy it, in the I can buy it everywhere basically. Northern Ireland, Great Britain, EU, and rest of the world. Because it's going to the rest of the world, if you, as you can see. That's amazing. So my new column came out today, Oracle Time. However, some horrendous who blows on the cover, but it, it is still quite cool to see um, <laughs> to see my own name and my own column, my own opinions in a magazine. That is really cool. Nico Leonard. Not only is Nico the founder of successful independent watch retailer Pride and Pinion, but his let's say strong opinions on the watch world have made him the most influential horological figure online, which is a great, uh, I'm really proud of that. I'm really proud to read that. Um, and the column is always the last page. Look at that, pride and opinion. You definitely need to read that. And I'll include a link with that so you get some discount on um, on a subscription on Oracle Time. These books are fucking class, to be fair. Um, class to have them on your coffee table. So I'm, I'm really proud of that. So that's amazing. Um, a lot of stuff happening today. We're dropping a video today, a video with Andrew Schultz, which is a belter. How are you, Stephen? You well? All right. All right. Oh, jeez. Video with uh, Andrew Schultz, which is class. And let me see how Johnny is doing. Good. You're good. doing well, you're doing well. Yeah. A, that is, a, a. you've done a lot, I see. <laughs> you just put an A on a black screen, yeah? That's it, that's what Fantastic. Cool. Oh, the video, the video, last video of Malta. Yeah. That was a belt, it was funny or what? I'm enjoying it, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, that was funny, mate. That was a fucking belter. So, a lot of stuff happening. I have a few calls as well. The travels, plan the, no, Stevie has a tra plan the travel, so that's good. Um, are you coming Saturday to the to Junior's birthday or what? Junior's birthday? Yeah. <laughs> what, am I am I one? <laughs> no, but Junior is one. Oh, is this like a, an adult party for Junior? No, no, no. It's like kids playing thing. No, that's a, that's a no. Yeah. You invite me to kids play <laughs> play party? Not just a kid, my kid, <laughs> right? So I expect you there. Um, let me run this. Let me see. Let me see. Hello, what's happening? What's happening? Oh look, Lady Spreadling. They just Wimbledon, two tone, Wimbledon Dow. Any other crack or what? Yeah. Oh. We're gonna go off to its new home here today. Fantastic. Um, as well. I see you guys have received the new Oracle Time. Last page is my article or my uh, column. Read that. There you go. And Gavin working, hardly working. Uh, <laughs> Oh, madness. Right. Um, how is your, is this uncut video? Yeah. How's your swearing in this one? I don't swear at all. These Malta videos are taking so long to bleep out. Yeah, because I, I was f half smashed on that. Half this cut. just a drunk vlog, is what this one is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never film when I'm drunk. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm barely swearing in this, by the way, so you don't have to cut them all out. Some cool watches, bluesy. This GMT is absolutely fecked. Uh, uh, aftermarket bezel, uh, Dallas fecked, a uh, service hands. Um, it's not something we actually sell um, on our website or to a private person. Um, this, however, is absolutely stunning. It, is, uh, it looks beaten up. 
which a wee bit, it, it is a wee bit, but it's all original and that's the most important thing. Um, Jamesy, any other watches coming through? Yeah, this is for photographs and they're going out today. Let me see, that's a RM07, uh, ladies RM. That's me done at close to eight o'clock in the evening. Look at this, by the way, a good friend of mine, Joshua, that's his old book. That's his new book. What a legend. Um, cookbook, by the way, and I can't cook for shit. Um, I'm wearing a different t-shirt than I was wearing earlier. I was wearing a shirt, but it was dirty. You get dirty because of pool. Um, got everything done today. So that's good. Um, there's a lot of challenges um, I'm, I'm, I'm working on, the way we generate data, the way we approach data, the way we handle data. These are all uh, challenges, not from a GDPR point of view, because we have that nailed down, but I want us to um, work. We have an inbound sales team, but I also want to have an outbound sales team, so I'm working on that and basically build up a business case. So eight o'clock time to go to, time to go home. Um, I can't have dinner because I'm fasting because I need to drop weight. Like, I mean, we need to talk about that. I am genuinely struggling with my weight at the moment. I'm just gaining and gaining and gaining and that's ba bad for the head, headspace as well. Not happy with that, but it's all due to traveling, bad. I always eat way too late, right? I don't really eat that much. I just eat at bad times and stuff. And that's my biggest problem, eating at bad times. So, um, I'm not eating tonight. Maybe two leaves. <laughs> Maybe we eat salad. No, 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 I'm not eating. Fuck that shit, I'm not eating. Um, now it's basically getting ready to go home and then to Liverpool tomorrow. Uh, I'm looking forward to that, a YouTube event. I don't know what to expect, to be honest, because I've never been at a YouTube event. Uh, but a good, a good friend of mine, Stephen, who also works here, right? Uh, who's the boss man, who's the proper boss man. Um, he's a big Liverpool fan, so I thought it would be cool for him as well to join and go to Anfield because that's where this event is. Um, but I just, I don't know what to expect, you know, I'll uh, share that with you guys. Um, if I don't feel too awkward filming and stuff, we'll see that tomorrow. Um, I'll bring this shirt extra with me and then it's Geneva, Geneva after, um, on Thursday, I believe my flight is. So a lot of stuff happening. I am not sure. The video is doing well. I appreciate that new video. We dropped the Andrew Schultz video, which is doing well. It's a, thir it's a, it's a three out of 10. Let me show you guys. It's now at 60,000 views, look. So that's actually all right. Uh, but the problem is there's two belters of videos that, that, that grew really over time. So this is gonna be in the end of five out of 10, but I'm happy with that, you know. Because it's a different video, a video that we haven't really done before. Right, what do I need, what do I need? I don't need anything, I just need a pair of boxer shorts, my passport and my wallet for tomorrow. So that's me home, I'm gutted. I'm gutted that I can't put Junior to bed. That's hard, you know, when you, when you uh, work quite late. Normally I, I really, really enjoy that, but because just a lot of stuff had to be done, so. It means I'm gonna be on a destined night at home. Um, still doing a wee bit, but uh, nah, it's a good day. I'm 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 happy with that. Not many sales though. Need to talk to the team about that. So that's us now. I'm switching everything off and put the alarm on. Fantastic. Hurry up. I'm happy with these stats though. 13% click-through rate. I'm actually really happy with that. Click-through rate is really important for those who don't know. Click-through rate means um, the amount of impressions the thumbnail and title has versus the amount of people that actually watch the video. So that's actually quite good for our, 
from our perspective. I know some channels, including TD, they have like fucking twenty five percent and stuff. But we're working on that. Like, I mean, it's also the audience because we've done a lot of automotive, um, automotive videos on this same channel. A lot of the new subscribers just watch it for automotive stuff. If that makes sense. So when they get a notification or see a thumbnail and it's not automotive related, they wouldn't uh, click us on it as fast as as they should or as I want them to do. But as well, and this is a really important one to understand if you like YouTube or if you want to do something on YouTube, if you have a lot of followers because of shorts and uh, you post a long form video on your own channel, <laughs> That will really fuck up your click-through rate because the majority of your audience is watching you because of shorts, not because of a long-form content. And that means that whenever you post a video, your click-through rate is basically fucked and you barely get recommended. Now you also see this in a lot of channels that have like millions of subscribers because of shorts and whenever they post a long-form video, they get like fucking shit views. I mean, that is because um, people actually watch this person because of the short form content, not long form content. And I just, I can't be harsh with short form content. I just want to do long form content. And that's why we stopped shorts on this channel. And we have a separate channel for that. It's time to go home, ladies and gentlemen, and do some work at home because I can't put Junior to bed anyway. Right, closed in. There you go, son. Oh, that is so cool. Happy first birthday! That's amazing. This is nearly his birthday. Uh, it's actually his birthday on Friday. And look at that. Still can't believe that we kept the baby alive for one year. That's basically it. That's crazy. He's already one year old. And there he is, the wee shit hawk. Chilling. I wish I was able to put him, in, uh, put him to bed. How are you? Popping out nearly? Yeah. yeah. Ready, to go. Ready to go. Right. Don't come tomorrow. Don't come Thursday. Don't come Friday. No, you could go Friday. That's fine. But in the afternoon. <laughs> Not just in the afternoon. Right. There you go. He's sleeping. I have one more call to do. And then it's bed time and then it's Liverpool time. I am certainly not very happy with this office. This is my home office. I'm trying to get some work done. I just had a long call and I'm, uh, I'm just I'm struggling um, concentrating in this office. So I want something new. I want to have something darker, something like, like, let me show you. Not that, that's weird. Um, that's too much cigar room type, like that. Needs to be darker anyway. So, get that out, get that out, get that out. I have a big desk here. If this darker, if the wall's dark, nice curtains. This is just, <laughs> it's messy as fuck because I'm a messy person, but. I would like to have it dark so I can concentrate better. Or maybe it's just in my head and I'm a weirdo. Who knows? I am, uh, I'm working on, 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 a, on a way of, uh, I think I've already spoke about that. I was doing some research and data collection and, and the way we use data. I think I've already spoke about that. Wait, I'm, I'm just tired. Anyway, if you ever wanna have a nice watch book, I have so bloody many watch books. Not just, not here, this is just a small amount. But I have, it's bizarre. Should show you that one time. But before I am going to bed, before I'm gonna close off and get ready um, to get some sleep and to go to Liverpool tomorrow, I just wanna say a big thank you for all your support, all your love. If you have any business suggestions, drop them in the comments as well. Really, really appreciate all your support and love. Thank you guys so much. Honestly, it means the world. By the way, join by a WhatsApp channel group thing. I'll put in a link somewhere in the description. 
or in the comments. But I appreciate your love. I appreciate your support. Um, uh, showing the real side, the real hustle. And that's the dog's ass. But um, yeah, that's what I, uh, this is the worst ending in the world, but you're gonna get it anyway.